Hey everyone, welcome back and I want to give a huge thank you to Bubble Girls for sponsoring today's video. I have got six Bubble Girls ready to be unboxed and as you can see there are six colourful party loving dolls to collect. Oh I love her outfit, it looks like she's got like her ice cream cone outfit. That is super, it kind of matches our horse box a bit, the theme. But it looks like she's going to be blowing up for us a purple cupcake. These super special dolls blow up very, very cute and unique bubble shapes. Oh, I can already see her through these party streamers. Let's remove them. Oh, we're getting closer. I can feel a big bubble inside this blind bag. And each doll has two dresses, the sweet look and the party look. So I think this is the sweet look because it's got some like swirls, macaroons on it. And then this looks like the party look. So let's change her into this. I love her hairstyle as well, it's super cool. She really reminds me of cotton candy and her hair, it reminds me of like bubble bath soap or like body wash, I don't know. But yeah, it, or whipped cream and that whipped cream. Her hair looks like whipped cream. So you wanna get this tool that you should have in one of your blind bags and you wanna get one of your mini little bubbles and you wanna attach the two together using the pointy end into the opening of your smaller bubble. Now you're gonna put it into your bubble girl's mouth just like that and you just wanna squeeze her head four times. One, two, three, four. And look at that, it is your, your perfect bubble. This is one of Susie's unique bubbles and you can see how big and cool they are. They've got lots of detailing on them. Um, and yeah, the color really, really comes up even when they are blown up huge. Check out the latest Bubbaloons and Bubby Girls adventures on the Kittoons TV and YouTube channel. Grown ups can also follow the at Kittoons on Instagram. Check out the description box down below for all the links. Welcome back and today we are in the new forest with Popcorn. Um, he's just chilling in there munching on some hay but yeah we are doing a GoPro and drone ride with me. We've got two other ponies today coming along with Popcorn but you all know how excited he gets when there are other ponies on a hack with him even if it's just him and another one. So yeah today's going to be super fun. So me and my friend are going to be having a GoPros on. So you're going to be seeing what it's like to be on a hack on a hyper pony. I don't, is Dunk lazy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, to spice it up, we have got a drone to follow us, which is just going to be even more, just going to add even more excitement into Pokemon's brain. So you're going to be seeing our beautiful hack that we go on today and no doubt it is going to be very, very fast, especially this one. But yeah, let's get tacked up. We're going to tack, we'll put his bridle on in there because spice a pony. Got oh, his boots, got boots on. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> right, where's oh, his bridle? Oh, you two are destined to each other. His bridle's in the back. In the back. Just go. Hello, popcorn. Look <laughs> if his head fits under. <laughs> Spicy pony. Hello, popcorn. He's like, oh my gosh. Because behind the camera there, we've got another pony that's coming on the ride with us. And he's like, oh my gosh. Right, ready? Are you? Put the reins over his head so yeah. that we've got him. Right, now popcorn. There you go. And then, how are we going to put the air bonnet on? Right. There you go. All pink. We'll take the head collar off in a sec. Oh my gosh, you look like a barbed pony. 
Sorry, my pony. Okay, right. Come on, he's gonna start smiling in a minute. There we go. Mm. You got that in? Yeah, ears in. He's like, oh my gosh, who are you, pony, that looks almost identical to me but with the black mane? <laughs> oh. Popcorn? He's like, I need to see that pony now. Me and Steph planned that we were going to be both wearing watermelon or pink today. Because my favourite colour is pink. Yes, so. I remember your pink cast cat. I know, and I think popcorn and dunk look very good in pink together. Yes, the two little cream ponies. Yes. Creme ponies. Can we go tighter or is that all right? That's good. Yeah. Is it a bit loose on this? Oh, it can't go up anymore. Oh, no, yeah, I can. I can do this side. I'm like having to you, reach if you up. Stand, if you stand <laughs> higher up, you can reach. <laughs> <laughs> right, have you got hold of him for a second? Uh, okay. Yeah, we should put this in the keeper. There you go. So he's just got a bit of a stronger bit in today because there's going to be wild ponies round. There are tamed ponies coming on a hack with us, just to clarify that they are tamed and popcorn <laughs> is tamed. Um, um, I but, don't know if he's tamed. Where's your yeah. girth? Oh, it's, it's oh I put it there. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just got a bit of a stronger bit because there are going to be many ponies in the new forest that we passed that are wild. And then there are going to be two tamed ponies on the hack with us. So you're going to meet Storm as well? Yes. I've never met Storm. What colour is she? Grey. Oh, they're all boys, yes! Oh, wait a minute! He's like, oh my gosh, I have to get off the ramp. Okay! Don't run over that stranger's car. <laughs> Do you want me to take one? <laughs> which one? Which? Wait a minute. They're going to squeal. I just don't know which one's going to squeal. Po probably Popcorn. Popcorn's a bit of a girl. That's why he's wearing pink colours. Oh no, they like each other. One's going <laughs> <laughs> to... Both... Right, is that out your system now? Right, go get yourself ready. I've got them. Okay, you sure? Yep. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Pokemon likes foals. Oh. And he likes oh, tiny know. ponies. There are so many more ponies out in the forest compared to the last time I came here. Yeah, I think they've put some back out round here. They take the geldings in when the stallion's out, so they put them back out afterwards. How do they round, what, like, round the geldings up? and like round the stallions up. Well, most of them are all like holter broke in the stallion, so they just go out and catch them. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Some of them are even ridden in things. Really? Yeah. Marie's got a pony out in the forest. Do you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you ever like drive past it? Yeah. Do I you? find her when I drive him out, I often see her. Do you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, not at all. No. That foal is like looking at us like, oh my gosh, pink. I thought I was like, yeah, what about it? My owner makes me wear it all the time. Oh my gosh, look at all these ponies.
Good boy. Oh, there's a hole. Oh, <laughs> that's why he has to get in the front. <laughs> I know it's quite high, isn't it? Or it's just like very straight and flicky. He knows he's supposed to. He knows he's supposed to stay in trot, so he's like, oh, I'll just do my extended one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no cantering. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I'm like not even kicking as well. Oh, the crab flies have come upon us. Do some rodeo to get it out, just don't make me fall off. <laughs> he will like try and buck it off in a minute. He won't do it, like try and get me off, he's trying to get the crab fly off. Oh my gosh. Popcorn's just like... <laughs> nope. I want to get over a bush today. <laughs> I'm going to jump it. I don't know. Boy. He took a long stride. Isn't he? Oh, he's done a little flying change. That was good. Lovely. Not where the tree is, popcorn. <laughs> He's so sassy. <laughs> this isn't funny to me. <laughs> oh, I'm holding on to my next jump. I got whiplashed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, come on, come on, popcorn. Which way are we going? Are we going over it again or are we just bucking on the spot? <laughs> on the spot. Dunk. Oh, Storm's got to go in front. Dunk's, oh, has Dunk's given up. Yeah! Sit up! <laughs> I just got catapulted. The crab flies have come among us and they like popcorn as well. Oh my.
This is smart as well. Yeah. I don't recognise her from around here. Yeah, well, you you learn to know which ponies are in your area. Yeah. See on that roan one, there's a mark on its back. So it's like, yeah. There's some that are quite difficult to catch in because if they're born out here and you don't get them in on the drift, you can't brand them. Oh. So then they're just like free pony, anyone can get it. No, they'll belong to somebody, but at some point they'll have to be caught in order to get branded. And they have to be wormed and yeah. all sorts. Wait, do they have like a, their like yearly or monthly? Yeah, they, you know they do the roundups every year. They all get rounded up into a pen and like all the little baby colts that aren't allowed to be out anymore come in. They all be wormed, they have their tails cut. Wait, why do they have their tails cut? So the Addison that rounds them up knows that they've been, they've come in and they've been looked at. Wait, what do you mean like their tails cut? So, so they do like a, you know like how the horse's tail is, it'll have three chunks cut out of it. Oh. So it means from a distance you can see it's been already rounded up and looked at.
was a really good ride, wasn't it? I know, we went super fast. I and so really? <laughs> but I can't believe you jumped that massive bush as well. I know. You tried to get me into it first try. Just like sneakily. No, because I saw um Stormy Tubes lift off and I was just like Yeah, Pokemon was hyper. Hyper 13 2. Six season X racing pony. Flies were bothering him though, weren't they? Yeah, the flies, he didn't like the flies. You got one on your nose. Oh no, it's gone now. We're trying to like get them and then like. They're very difficult to catch crap. Yeah. There's one on. He's got three on. I was gonna say, <laughs> don't quit the bothered by them. Wait, do they like suck the horse's blood or something? No, they don't do anything. They just do they? crawl they along just come and around. make them itchy. Oh. Good wash down, he's Oh. Ah, good boy. Does Dunky want some water before he goes? We'll bimble back and he'll have a drink when he gets back. Oh. You can. Okay. That feel better? Well. Oh. Shall I turn? Oh, we got some sweaty popcorn ears. Oh yeah. I mean, at least his ears weren't bothered. Wow, this is a sweaty mess. And look at popcorn. Absolute sweat monster. He's got loads of dirt near his girth. Because his girth is fluffy and I don't think that makes the situation any better. But yeah, this came in handy. Came in handy a lot actually. I would recommend getting a neck strap for when you go on hacks because I, I need it with popcorn because you don't like the crab flies, do you? And they get all in your bum and you don't like it, do they? Do you? On our hack today, he was a really good boy other than, I mean, it wasn't really his fault. It's just the crab flies. They get all up his bum and like we're trying to walk along and he just does like these big bucks and like he stamps his back feet like, like he's an angry toddler or something until like they go away. But it, his method works. Takes a long time though. Even, like we top, we like smother him in fly spray as well. We need to get that like, um, that, that, fly spray. huh? Bite back fly spray is for crab flies. Is it? Yeah. Oh, we need to get that. Wow. That is. It definitely wasn't the fastest I've ever been. No, we didn't have a race or anything. No, but it was very, very fast still. It was very, very fun. We jumped like a 90, almost going on one metre bush. Gonna leave this to dry in the sun for a second because this is a bit sort of gross. He's like got no energy now, he's fine. I say that and then he's just gonna like run away. Oh, my hair. You probably feel the same popcorn because you've had your ear bonnet on, but. Oh my goodness, look at the saddle pad. Oh my gosh, I'm going to leave this to dry in the sun. There you go. Oh no, 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 no. No pony on the loose. Good boy. Right. Right, I'm just gonna have to stay there, please, popcorn. Just all of it, then. Yeah. Oof. So, probably we're going to do some apple bobbing now. Yeah. yeah. Put it straight in, just plonk it in. 
So Popcorn is actually drinking the water while he's trying to get the apples. He's not terribly good at this, but he loves to, dr when he does get into them, he likes to drink the water next to the apples, so it's like apple-y, juicy water. Hello, does Popcorn love eating water? Yeah, especially when it's like got apple juice in it. All right, do you want to get have a little taster? Come here. There you go. Right, now you've got some apple flavoured water. And I'll give you the little mojo. No, oh, Donkey can't get his whole mouth around it. Oh, my gosh. Popcorn, you've really foamerised that water. I swear, he's going to try to get the stalks off of them. Ah, I'm not your food. <laughs> I'm not an apple. I'm going to have really sticky hands up. Oh. I'm not an apple. I was going to say you can wash them in I'm popcorns. Water. water, but it's I'm a bit slobbery. Don't you try to eat me, popcorn. I am not an apple. I'm not an apple. Don't you look at me like that, don't you? Don't you look at me Come like on, that. drink some water. Drink some water. Don't you eat my apple. We did this the other day after a ride and he didn't know and I don't think he knew that there was like proper water in there so he just dunked his whole entire nose in and then like from from wait let me use your nose as a demonstration from like come here, there downwards his nose was like drenched in water because he just went like down for the apple down for the apple Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Yay. Come here. Oh, yes. I'm holding it by the stalk with my hands flat underneath the water, so. Oh, he's drinking it near the apple, so he's, oh. so he's got apple flavoured water. I'm going to sit down on this. There you go. Donkey, come on. You can, we can share the bucket. It's a medium, small. You gonna try, Don? Come on, Popcorn. Let Donkey have a try. Come on, Dog. Look, look. Dunk's like, Popcorn, can you give me some tips? Oh, that's cute. Matching pink boys. The Barbie boys. Come on, donkey, you go, you try. So we have got back from the yard and now we are going to bath popcorn because he is a sweaty mess at the moment. He's kind of unsweated himself, but there's gonna be that crusty, nasty sweat on him in the morning. So I'm gonna get it all off now. Also, he's a bit dusty because when I was grooming him to get him into the horse box, he was so dusty, like, I don't know if you'll be able to still see it now, but... Oh, you can't see it as much now, but still there. That he was dusty. But here he's just got dried sweat and dried mud combo, and then here he's got, like, a dried sweat, and then more dried sweat, and then... Poo down the legs. We're gonna give him a little makeover. We've got some nice spray as well, which we're gonna make him nice and shiny with. Are we gonna condition his mane? Yeah. We've got body conditioner. Are we gonna put it on his body? Yeah. Yeah, it's a spray it on conditioner. No, the... the no, no, won't do all okay. that. Okay. Right, so, it's not gonna be that nice for him to go to bed all sticky, sweaty, disgusting, grimy. I just, I just, I'm gonna have a shower after today and he can't shower himself, so we've got to do it for him. Because he's my little baby popcorn. But we had so much fun today. He enjoyed it more than me, I think. He made the best time out of it. Um, we did like a 90, almost going on one metre, because when he jumps, he clears them by maybe 10 centimetres or more. And it was about 90, 95. So we jumped about a metre 
bush today. So, yeah, very good boy. Let's go get the shampoo. Oh, when you walk by, happy night, talking sweet all the time. I'm a Bobby boy. Pokemon's a Bobby boy in his Bobby world. His girth's elastic. Life's fantastic. Mum, can you do his this temperature? I don't know how to work that. I'm gonna walk by every night, talking sweet. You'll find you're so pretty, my popcorn. Normally when we bath him, his sweat marks are like all uneven, but they're actually even because he sweated everywhere today. I swear, at some points he even sweated on his bum. On his what? His bum. Oh really? Yeah, oh my gosh mum. He, I couldn't get him to walk because there was a crab fly up his bum and he was just bucking every stride of walk. At one point, I was hanging onto the, the neck strap for dear life because I did not want to go over his head. I was like, how do I explain it? So like, I pretend I'm riding popcorn. I was like this, my leg was up in the air. I had one stirrup and I was just like holding onto my neck strap and then popcorn was just like. I swear, he bucked whilst I was like hanging off of him. Naughty pony, but spicy pony too. So now he's all sweat scraped off and I'm gonna put some equine rehydrant spray on him. It makes his coat super shiny. Um, wait, is this the one that smells like mango? Yeah. Oh, we love it. It makes him smell so good, apart from straight after when he goes and rolls in the field, which isn't ideal, but it's ponies for you. Um, Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. Popcorn just smelling so good. You go get those ladies. Popcorn clone. <laughs> it makes his tail so shiny as well. Like I put it on in a lesson once and my trainer, she was shocked. She was like, oh my gosh, his tail's so shiny. Cause it was, he was just like walking along and you couldn't miss it. It was so shiny. And she was like, how much of that stuff did you put on him? <laughs> what it's also really good for is their skin and their coat. It, one, it makes their coat shiny and two, it rehydrates their coat. I need to give you a warning with this, guys. It is addictive. Once you buy one bottle, they keep on coming. Like they're just adding into your cart daily or monthly. Because you just, you get so carried away with spraying things that you spray it all over their body. And next thing you know, you come to spray them again with it and the bottle's empty. And because the spray is good for them, I keep using more and it's natural and it makes them look shiny. Can't stop mentioning that because I love a shiny popcorn. Um, but yeah, this is like our third or fourth bottle right now. We've gone through so many of these. We also, we've got the detangular, the avocado detangular. Should we try it in popcorn's tail? Yeah. Okay. I'll put this one back up here and I'll get a brush. We're not sponsored at all by these, just to say, uh, my mum just bought these bottle, bottles in our local tax shop. It's the Avocado Mist Condition Detangular. It's infused with avocado oil. Oh, mum, you can use this on dogs and cats as well. Oh, yeah. Wait, does it smell like avocado? I don't know. I think it does, but it's not as strong as the other one. 
I think it's going to make his tail extra shiny because we sprayed that and this on it. So I haven't really let it soak in, so it hasn't worked fully yet. But let me just spray a bit more. Addictive as well. <laughs> Do I go in your field? Good boy. And stand. Okay, you can munch on the grass. Look on, come on. I don't want the gate to open too far. Look on, come on. Look, you've got a field full of grass. Good boy. I bet you he's going to go and roll in that spot there. Oh yeah, the dustiest spot of the field. Sounds just about right. Nice scrammy popcorn. After all our hard work we did. He's going to go down again and do it on the other side. It's got to be equal. Oh, he's so chuffed to bits. Oh, yeah. Got the sound effects too. Oh, my goodness, his mane. on your legs, your tail, your mane, your nose, your bum. Oh my goodness. He's worse than when he started. Look at that. I'm patting him and the, just, the dust is just coming off of him. Like this was nice and dry. You can't even see his natural coat. Just look at that beautiful art piece. Gorgeous. Yeah, we're going to end it today because I've got to go have a shower. Pop One's had a shower and rolled twice. He's off to go get a drink. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching today's vlog and we will see you soon. Bye. Is that a nice drink?